Hi Taurus, this is going to be your weekly love reading. Somebody's mad at you that you're real happy. Hmm. I mean, this person is really upset that you are doing good or that you don't seem to be bothered. Showing current energy here for the collector when it comes to love, please. Ooh, the Ace of Cups in reverse. I'm telling you, somebody's really upset at you. Twin flame energy just came out. Your twin is upset with you that you're unbothered. All right. The Knight of Wands. And here we go. Knight of Wands. Oh, my goodness. Oh, guess what's playing? Cry Baby by Megan Thee Stallion. Cry Baby. Interesting. Well, somebody might be crying like a baby or upset about something. So somebody, ooh. What is this? Hold on, y'all. The Knight of Pentacles is here in reverse. This person could be a fire sign or an earth sign. It doesn't have to be, but... I'm talking to somebody here who's in a twin flame connection and their twin, or this could be you, flip and switch the roles. They're unawakened and they are a player. They're not reliable, okay? Somebody has a lot of work to do. This person is in and out. Mm -hmm. Two of swords. They don't know what they want. They don't know what they want. Somebody here is confused, okay? They don't know what the hell they want here. That's just really what it is. Five of Swords. Oh, this is the Ten of Swords, not the Five of Swords. Yeah. There was a very heartbreaking, painful ending. It's somebody, this person betrayed you, collective. Okay, there was a very painful in, ending here. Somebody has went through, I feel like you went through a lot of suffering. This person could have betrayed you. Um... Or this person was betrayed. Mm, I don't know. Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. <sighs> Somebody here could play guitar. All right. Somebody here could be a musician. Mm, 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 mm. Somebody here could really like sci-fi movies too. I don't know why that even is, a, is an option out here, but Spirit wants you to know, for those of you who are on the Twin Flame journey and you were uh, put in a certain position that made you very uncomfortable, I feel like the, the worst is behind you when it comes to this connection, okay? The worst is behind you. That's what you really need to know, especially with this Ten of Swords being here. The worst is gone. Okay, now it's time to release it and embrace the new things because there's a new path opening up and available to you and all you have to do is follow it if that's what you truly want. Okay, if that's what you truly want, you can do that. Your person could also be afraid that that's exactly what's happening here in your life for you, that you've moved on, you're happy without them and somebody here is angry, they're mad, they're sad, they're upset, they're depressed that you've moved on without them. Somebody may have thought you was going to be stuck, stuck. I'm not even picking that up. Show me what else here for the collector, please. No. Yeah, you're looking for a balanced connection. Somebody who's going to support you through through the good and the bad. Um, that's just what you're looking for. And I feel like you guys are going through a transformational period right now. Okay. Good for you, so stick it out, hang in there. Let me see what this card is, hold on. What is this? Look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is deep as the ocean. This is the past person playing games. Show me what else here. For somebody here, this person was mean, they were nasty, they were rude to you, they were unfriendly, they were unfair. You grew, you've grown out of this person. You're not the same person that you used to be, which is why transformation is energy here. The transformation, the energy of transformation is here, excuse me. All right. So, <laughs> yeah, all right. So show me more here for the collective when it comes to love, please. 
Three of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. Yeah, okay. Oh, here goes the King of Pentacles. This King of Pentacles has been popping up. This King of Pentacles just won't, won't quit. <laughs> this Queen of Pentacles won't quit. If y'all have been watching the readings for the past like week or two, the King of Pentacles and the, and the King of uh, Swords has been popping out a lot. But there's a... Let me get more information here before I say something. Show me more. Yeah, you walked away. You walked away from this person or you have a king of... There goes that. Okay, this is that king of pentacles. Look. So the knight of wands. Remember, we, we just saw the knight of wands out here. And this is your twin. This, this is somebody here who just hasn't learned. This person really loves attention. Somebody does something for fun. They love attention. They... Ooh, look at this. They love attention and they love sex. Okay. Ace of Wands, Six of Wands. This person loves attention. They love sex. They're hot and cold. They're in and out. They, I feel like this twin is getting ready to walk away from something and come towards you and tell you they're single. For a lot of y'all, they're getting ready to walk away from a commitment and now they're free. Or you could have, you know, walked away from this person. I don't know. But... Show me this Queen of Wands energy. You could be an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Show me Queen of Wands energy, please. Ace of Cups. You have a love offer coming towards you. Somebody here either wants to reconcile from the past. They want to talk. Mm. They're watching you too. Paying attention to what you're doing. That could be social media. That could be them asking other people about you, friends, family members, trying to get information about you, asking about what you're doing. Um, they may have a fake account on social media. Somebody here could even be learning. You know, it's a cure, energy of curiosity. It's going to be different for all of you here. Show me more about this King of Pentacles. So the Queen of Wands, you have a... This King of Pentacles wants to offer this to you. They could be a younger earth sign here. Show me more about this King of Pentacles. Show me more about this King of Pentacles. Child. I don't. Show me more about this King of Pentacles. All right. I. Okay. Give me a second, y'all. <sighs> There's some drama. The worst, Janae Coy, is playing right now. The worst. If you know, you know. The worst is playing. And the worst is about this. This song, The Worst, is literally about someone here who seemed kind, loyal, caring, all of the above, but they really are showing up like this. This is this King of Pentacles energy, the Seven of Swords. Lie, cheat, steal, conflict, drama, whatever the heck it is, right? And I'm going to show you these cards because I needed a I needed a minute to myself. Um, Because look, Five of Wands. This, this, there's a third party situation here. I have a Queen of Pentacles and I have a Queen of Wands. You may resonate as the Queen of Wands. This Queen of Wands has a love offer coming towards them with this Eight of Wands and this Ace of Pentacles. The Three of, of Pentacles is next to it's a, it's next to this Queen of um, Wands, which is typically the third party. So you may have been a third party to something here, okay? And you may not. Some of y'all may not have even known you were. Either way, um, definitely could be dealing with the younger Earth sign with this King of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles. Okay, there's a lot of Pentacles here. I feel like this King of Pentacles is is looking at you as somebody who's free, single, living in, doing good, living well, looking good. Right? You're independent. 
you make your own choices, you make your own decisions, you're doing good, you're fine without their ass is what I really feel like. And I feel like you really walked away from this shit, right? This is the original energy. And then when I went to clarifying this king of pentacles, the page of pentacles came out with the two of pentacles. So this person's like, yeah, I want to make an offer. I don't know who I want to be with. I want to be with somebody. Somebody's weighing their options. And I feel like their option has to do with a, a queen of pentacles. Okay, so this king of pentacles and this queen of pentacles are out here. And, and what else came out with clarifying? Because we're clarifying still the king of pentacles, the six of cups, and it's five of wands. This king of pentacles has a... Um, they have a history with somebody. Okay, this could be somebody they were married to for some of y'all because the king and queen of pentacles is out here. So this is either a somebody they have kids with, a history with, someone they're married to. There's a lot of drama and issues going on. This person's been juggling. They've been trying to decide if they want to try to make things work with this queen of pentacles. But the thing is, shit is not going well over there for them. But <clears throat> seven of swords, lying ass. Somebody lying. They ain't telling the truth. This person is... I don't... I don't even know why we talk about this. Spirit, can we... I don't... What's this five of wands over? Clarify this five of wands. What's the drama? What's the conflict? I feel like there's a bunch of people involved. Not only children, but other people. A group of people. Friend, this could be friends. This could be family members. <clears throat> this king of pentacles really cares there's that's gossip this person this king of pentacles cares about what somebody has to say what people have to say show me more about this situation for the collective so this king of pentacles wants to bring this love offer this they want to reconcile ace of cups with the eight of wands they want to reconcile with this queen of wands they, they do. Three of Pentacles? They do. They do. I don't care. Um, um, that's just what's coming out. Show me more here, please. Child, I don't know. Look at this. Can't make it up. Five of Swords. <clears throat> this person's going through a lot of drama. And they are even... Ooh, the moon... There are a lot of secrets. There's a lot of secrets. This King of Pentacles is hiding a lot of secrets. Mm. Three of Cups. There is a group of people that know secrets here. There's a lot of people involved in this situation that need to be involved. Yep. And it's a burden on this person. Ten of Wands. For some of y'all, this Ten of Wands, the burden is some form of marriage, or some form of belief system, com commitment this person is in. Yeah, but guess what? It's all getting ready to crumble down to the ground. Scorpio, Taurus energy, Cancer energy with the moon. Yeah, the tower is getting ready to come out. Some shit is blowing up somewhere. And for some of y'all, it's in a commitment. Your person is going through some form of tower moment. What's this tower moment about? The, something's being revealed. For some of y'all, it's either got to do with kids, somebody's kids or their child or someone who they thought was a child or whatever. Or some shit is coming out into the open and being revealed. What's being revealed here? What's this tower about, please? <clears throat> yep. Some of y'all, this is a child. Look at this. Ace of Wands and the Sun card. Leo energy. Could be a, a Sagittarius or an Aries too. You know, some shit is blowing up somewhere all over either a secret child. Look at this. And the bottom of the deck is the King of Wands. Child, I can't make this up. This secret is a burden to this King of Wands. And they're, and they're upset that they can't move on with their life. This person cannot make a choice. They're heartbroken and upset that they cannot make a choice because I feel like they fucked up and they are trapped in a situation. 
in a, uh, yeah, they are. They, somebody is trapped in a situation here because they either A, created a side baby or somebody has another baby or this baby is, um, hold on. Oh, hold on. Something's going on here. I'm just telling you. Let's keep it real. Show me what else for the collective. What's going on with this situation? So... <clears throat> this person here is seeing signs, synchronicities, or you could be seeing, seeing signs and synchronicities. Some of y'all might be seeing 1111. Some of y'all could be seeing 222, the infinity symbol. Somebody is ha haunting and constantly reminded of you or a situation. They're haunted by their decision to go be or stay with whoever this is. Mm. Somebody's haunted by the decision that they made. <laughs> they're getting karma somebody ooh, look whoever this is this person is not they this card says ain't shit we already have receipts out here haunted competition definitely third party energy so whoever some of y'all Somebody here is with somebody else for money or for some reason. That's what it's looking like. Somebody may have given money to somebody else here. This is so interesting. I was not prepared for this energy. <clears throat> but you know what? I feel like you guys really don't have anything to do with this. I told you gossip. And the gossip just came out in reverse. So whatever this gossip is, somebody has something to say about you, but I feel like it's not true. It's not true. It is just not true. Yeah. And then there are people spying and watching and talking shit, and, and it's not even true. Like, whatever the gossip is. Yep, I told you somebody was sad and depressed and upset that you were over here happy having a breakthrough. This look at this depression. I believe this is you. You you went through an epiphany and said, you know what? This is not for me. You are going through your own awakening, your own epiphany, and this person is haunted by you. They're thinking about you sexually. There's a lot of lust and desire here. A lot of lust and desire. Because we did see the Knight of Wands twice. Like, and now this person is haunted by their choices and decisions. And somehow, some way, somebody either A, made a baby, had an outside baby, or I, I don't know what's being revealed, but whatever is being revealed has something to do with a seed, a child, or whatever it is. But this person definitely is thinking about you and focused on you and concerned about what you have going on. But they have a lot of burdens and karma in their daily life. They're overwhelmed. They have a lot going on collecting, whether you know this or not. But I feel like you guys don't really care because you're busy. Like, hello. Look at this love triangle. I told you. They don't know what the hell they want. But I do I do know one thing. You collective are done. You learned your lesson. You're you're focusing on yourself. You've learned your lesson and you're focusing on yourself. You're not even connected to this. But this person is still watching you. Oh, you know why you're still connected to it? Because the divine is saying, hey, look, you're still some somehow, some way attached. This person's in your energy. Whatever secrets that you're getting ready to find out a secret. Something that you didn't know is either A, get ready to come to light or something is getting ready to be revealed and somebody's getting ready to be embarrassed. I don't know which is which, but... The player is getting ready to be played. They were either played by somebody else, which means like, I don't know, maybe it's somebody who they thought was their child or their kid. They're going to find out this person's not their child or their kid. But the fact that player is here and it came out in reverse with all this other surrounding energy. Yeah, they're obsessively watching you. But I also, too, feel like there's a lot of lust, a lot of desire, and a lot of lack of... I feel like this person does not have control over their private parts. Look at this. They don't have control over they, over what's between their legs. Desire, lust, obsession, ain't shit. Some of y'all, this person said, oh, it's only you. I, I only love you. No, that's not true. Shit. 
they they got a whole bunch of other people on the roster. Mm. Mm. Now they sad and broken and feel alone. Or this is how this person left you feeling. That's how they may have left you feeling. Yeah, this person living a damn double life. I can't make it up. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. What else does the collective need to know? Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, look at this. You stopped. You, this person, let me tell y'all this. If you were a third party, because I feel like there's definitely some form of third party here. All right? Because the private relationship is here. Then we have Chaser and Hot Pursuit, Bounty Hunter in reverse. You stop chasing this person or you stop giving a damn. You stop. You gave up hope. I feel like y'all gave up hope. You gave up praying. And um, you know what? At one point in time, you may have thought this was a, a, a divine connection or there was a soul tie. But I really feel like you're learning a valuable lesson, especially with all this transformation energy out here. You, like, you don't have any more hope for the situation because the hope is in reverse. But I feel like low-key, this person is real triggered that you don't care anymore or that you're happy or that you got away from them. They feel like you turned their back on, that you turned your back on them. That's how they feel collective. All right, they do. But I feel like you you had the assistance from your spirit team to move on from this person. Because we have, some of y'all may have just moved into a new home. You relocated. You moved on with your life, period. Your spirit team helped you to do that. You turned your back on this person and you're done. But this person refuses to change. They, they refuse to, it's like this person stuck in some old ass stale behavior. But they're really upset. You're not stuck in that. This is you unfazed. And this person is really mad and upset that you're so unfazed and that you've moved on. They're mad. Big look. Total drama. I told you they mad and they big mad. And listen, I don't feel like you're the drama, but I feel like there's another party here who's causing drama in this other person's life. And you're like, oh, I'm good. I don't care. What's going on? And yep, yeah, look at this. First card out is facts. <laughs> Whoever this is you're dealing with, they have a problem lying. They don't know how to tell the truth. They they want they know they need to make a decision, but they haven't. This extra trigger card came right out. They feel triggered to make a decision. That's that page of pentacles, two of pentacles. They feel triggered and pressured to make a decision because they're getting no response out of you or some shit like that. Or you seem to be too unbothered. Yeah. And so now this person can't stop thinking about you. This person's getting ready to come out of hermit mode. Crickets came out in reverse. So... At one point, you weren't talking to this person or this person wasn't taking action or there was some form of like no communication or non-silence. They're getting ready to talk. Oh, somebody's getting ready to talk. Believe me. I just don't think you want to want to hear it. You moved on, but this person can't move on. Temptation and deception is here. Hmm. Mm-mm-mm. I can't. I can't make it up. You don't want to reconcile with this person. They want to talk to you. They really do want to talk to you and they feel like you don't want to reconcile with them, with them being on the verge of confessing their feelings and they're hoping that you're willing to listen. But the reconciliation is in reverse. So either you don't want to reconcile with this person or they feel like you're going to reject them. They want you to practice forgiveness. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Let's pull from the energy oracle. What else do we have for the collective when it comes to this person? <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> mm -hmm. There goes that tower again. Somebody is about to have a um, 
somebody's ego is about to get checked. Third chakra and the storm warning. I feel like somebody's ego is getting checked or somebody's pride is falling to the ground. This is a straight tower moment because I feel like somebody's ego is about to get the best of them. Okay. Or somebody here could be shockingly, she could be shocking you that they're going to walk away from a situation. We'll see. <clears throat> somebody's finally finding the courage to walk away from something. Show me more. And you may not know this or see this. Yeah, definitely something. There goes that indecision energy. <clears throat> They're about to be forced. They're about to be forced to come towards you because they can't. Yep. This person is being pushed and led towards the woman holding the, the coin. I mean, the woman holding the heart. They're, the fourth chakra is here. So this is somebody's emotions, somebody's feelings. Okay. Somebody is being intuitively guided towards this queen of cups energy. That's the same. That's a queen of cups energy, right? The indecision. They know what they need to do. They're not trusting their intuition. They're not following their heart here. They're not following their heart. I feel like somebody's getting ready to speak up. Oh, let me see with this throat chakra energy. Yeah, I'm telling you, they in their feelings, they don't know what to do. They're having a lot of anxiety. This person is in, in their head and they're having anxiety and they don't know if they should speak up or not. Mm. Show me more. Yeah, they need. They know they need to step outside of their comfort zone, but I feel like they're not doing it here. The world, they know they need to step outside of their comfort zone and explore their other options, adjacent possibilities, the garden and the gate and the world. Somebody knows they are being pushed. Their intuition is pushing them in a direction to step outside of their comfort zone in something. They're not doing it. <clears throat> Look at this. Spirit is guiding somebody. Spirit is guiding somebody to do something here. Door to spirit in the temple path. This is all divinely orchestrated, and the spirit is guiding somebody to do something here. And this person is just not listening. And for some of y'all, this person is not listening because they don't have money. They're having financial problems and their pockets ain't right. I don't know what else to tell you. <clears throat> Caring connections next to financial constraints. Somebody having money problems and you may not even know. <clears throat> Show me more here, please. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, somebody's trying to somebody trying to figure out something. Just there goes that man holding the coin. Right underneath that is walking away. I'm telling you, somebody's trying to find the, the confidence and the courage to walk away, make a decision to walk away from something. But they, I feel like they have to find some sort of balance. They're trying, to, they're taking, this person has taken a pause, rest and rejuvenation, which is like four swords energy, um, with the angel of balance, Libra energy, could be a Libra. Um, or Virgo with the strategy energy or somebody is taking a pause to really try to figure something out and for a lot of y'all that is um, finances or something it's king of pentacles <coughs> yeah but to see the thing is they, they it's hard for them to make a decision because they're still attached to somebody else with this attachment energy and whoever it is that they're attached to is like an evil person or not a good person or not a nice person here. I don't know. Yeah, there's a lot of hostility going on in somebody's home. Look at this. Hostilities, happy family, and on the other side of happy family was deceit. Listen, somebody is living a double life for sure, and whoever the hell they living with ain't shit. They ain't shit. Ain't nobody shit. I don't know what to tell, else to tell you other than continue to move forward. <clears throat> They're mad because you moved on and you're unbothered. <clears throat> um, 
and somebody here is going through something and they're angry and upset, but the anger and the upset and the conflict and the five of wands and the gossip and the talk and the tower moment and the storm energy is coming from this other person because they're not shit and they're extra triggered. Um, but the thing is, I feel like you're doing your own thing and you're not concerned. Child, somebody having money problems and they acting like everything is okay and they have the money and they can do this and they can do that. No, they don't have it. They ain't got it. They said they had it. They don't have it. I mean, um, this person is running out of options on how to approach you or how to get out of a situation. For some of y'all, there's an extra baby. Somebody lied about a kid or someone is just like has a sex addiction. They want you to be in a, accept a third party situation and be happy with that. But they're triggered that you aren't okay with it, which I find to be quite hilarious. And, and <laughs> hold on, they got so much drama going on over here. Look at this, look at, look at this drama. Five of wands, pretending. No, never has the facts. Just make shit up and lies. I'm reading the cards, y'all. I'm reading the cards. But this is you. You're unfazed. You're good. You're good. You're you're doing good. Somebody over here is living a double life. They're daydreaming about you. They're fantasizing about you. And and most of that has to do with sex, lust, desire. The spying on you or watching you, okay? They are in this Ace of Wands energy for sure. I mean, the Ace of Wands is out here, okay? But <clears throat> for some of y'all, I feel like this person getting karma for whatever this is, you know? <clears throat> but they're obsessed. They're obsessed over you for sure because we did see the obsession energy. Uh, I don't know who's giving money here. I don't, I don't know who's using somebody for money. Somebody could be using somebody for money, obviously. But this person, it doesn't surprise me because, again, somebody could be using somebody else or be with someone else just for money. Because, look, third party, tri love triangle, ain't shit, receipts, gossip, giving money. Some There's a pick me giving somebody some damn money. I don't... And then my mind by Yeba is playing. And y'all know my mind is about um somebody was out all night, late nights. Somebody was out all night with uh, somebody else and they came home smelling like somebody else and they had been with somebody else. And this other person knows that this person is with somebody else. They know they with a third party. And um, and this, this this person is about to lose their damn mind. I don't know. I mean, it definitely looked like they losing their damn mind over here with this tower energy coming out twice. <sighs> Remember, Knight of Pentacles came out in reverse. Knight of Wands came out twice. What is this Knight of Wands? I don't know. Oh, yeah. Knight of Wands. There we go. You focusing on yourself. Continue to do that. I love y'all. Um... You know, the past is behind you, so just continue to push forward, release it, and embrace new possibilities because there is something new that you're coming into alignment with that's better. There's a new path available to you, and you could take it if you want it and follow it with faith and don't worry about what the hell these people over here or what they got going on because um, it's, it, it's honestly, it's really not your business, and who cares because they're, they're sad. <laughs> this is sad. Somebody has a lot of healing to do is what it is. Okay, but everybody has to heal on their own. So I love you.